Permit me to stand on already established protocol. Let me begin by correcting an impression. Christian clergy are not in contest with anybody. And therefore, our clergy should not come here and try to equate themselves with anybody recruited by APC. <laughs> clergy are called by God to serve. While those recruited by APC are recruited to serve their purpose, let us not join issue with them. I am not a member of APC. But I am here in solidarity with the Northern Christian in the APC. Well, let me just, in a very short moment, put it this way. That our diversity and multiculturalism has been attacked by the Muslim Muslim ticket. And there is no sane Nigerian, whether it's a Christian or a Muslim, that can defend this. Because defending it means you are defending evil. We are Christians, we are Muslims, there are traditionalists, there are atheists, there are free thinkers that are Nigerians. And if you cannot find any competent person from any of these groups to be on the ticket, then you have a hidden agenda. I associate my thinking with previous speakers. And I want to urge Christians that we represent the unity of this country. And we must do everything possible to defend the unity of Nigeria. And defending the unity of Nigeria means we must defeat any ticket that does not accommodate Nigerians. I will, before I sit down, I will refer us to something. The book, in Genesis chapter 11, verse 6, the most important part for me there is what God said. God, the Bible says, And the Lord said, Behold, the people are one. They have all one language. And this they begin to do, and nothing will restrain them from them, which they have imagined to do. The message here is that the Christians are now one. The Christians are speaking one language. The Christians are determined and nothing will stop them from defeating that evil called Muslim, Muslim ticket. Thank you very much and God bless you. Thank you very much. Thank you, sir. And